Another thing that's very important about our Ethernet standards is how they fit into the OSI model. Most of our Ethernet components fit into the layer 1 and layer 2 of the OSI model, which is the physical and data link layer respectively. Now you will notice that the physical layer does touch every Ethernet standard, as well as every other standard that has been invented, whether it was the original Ethernet 2 802.3, which was the DIX or DIX and IEEE Ethernet, or it was the standard 802.3, 3U, 3Z, 3AE, or even Token Ring or FDDI. They all touch the physical layer. The physical layer of the OSI model handles all of the information, such as the physical layer topology and the physical framing that must occur. You'll notice that the data link layer is actually separated into two separate components for the purposes of the Ethernet. We see a MAC sublayer, which actually provides transitions down to the physical layer, and we see logical link control, or the LLC sublayer, which provides transitions up to the next layer in line, which would be the layer 3 or network layer. One of the standards that provides logical link control, or LLC, is what is known as IEEE 802.2. Now this layer provides much more versatility in the services to network layer protocol that are above it when compared to raw 802.3 and LLC headers. It will actually tell the data link layer what to do with the packet when it receives the frame. An example of this is a host that receives a frame that looks up the LLC header to understand that the packet is destined for the protocol at the network layer. And this actually provides the logical link control. It's very much like a device driver for, let's say, a video card. Your operating system can't actually talk directly to the video card unless it has a device driver from that video card manufacturer. When it sends video signals, it must go through that video card device driver for that video card to understand what to do with it. It's very much the same thing that an LLC sublayer is doing for our Ethernet under the Ethernet umbrella. This is where the standards fit in. You will notice that LLC is used predominantly with all of our latest and greatest Ethernet specifications. For dealing with fast or gigabit or 10G Ethernet, we always will take advantage of the LLC sublayer and IEEE 802.2. This was one of the many standards that has been approved by the IEEE.